What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for tuning in. Today I am going to show you guys what I have in my gym bag, what I take to the gym with me every single time I go. I get a lot of questions um, about what I use in the gym, if I use like a weight belt, if I use straps, if I use bands, what bands I use. I just want to preface this. I do need a new gym bag. I've had this one since I started my fitness journey and it's not even a duffel bag so it doesn't actually hold that much but it is my backpack that I used to use when I played college soccer at my first school. So it still has the logo right there. It is literally just a straight up backpack. So first things first, this is a very, very important staple of mine. I take this to the gym with me every leg day. However, it does not fit in my gym bag. And it might just be because it's a backpack. It would probably fit in a duffel, hip thrust, foam pad. I do not use this to squat. I only use this to hip thrust, and this is the brand. I always ordered my hip thrust pads off of Amazon, and I went through a couple brands, and they would all rip after a couple months, which is to be expected, especially if there's a lot of neural on the barbell and it's very rough, it'll rip the insides. I think this one is just kind of starting to rip. But this brand, guys, for some reason, I have had this for months and months. I'm pretty sure I've had one of mine for like a year now and it doesn't actually have that bad of ripping in it. So I am like obsessed with these. I have one that I always keep in my car and I'm pretty sure it's still there. And then one that I always keep with my gym bag. So I'm always, always prepared. I'm pretty sure I have one in Dakota's car too, just in case. But yeah, my go-to, love these things. Next up, obviously water bottle. I don't like to carry like plastic bottles of water around, so I take this and just kind of hope like heck that the gym that I'm going to has a water fountain where I can fill it up. This one actually still has a little bit left in it. I should probably chug it. And I always lose my water bottles, but for some reason I've had this one for over a year, so I'm gonna keep the streak going. Next thing, oh, it's jingling on me. Next thing that I carry in my bag at all times, even on upper body days, on lower body days, no matter what, is a weight belt. I see a lot of people misusing weight belts in the gym all the time. I'll see people just kind of walking around their entire workout with one of these on. And guys, that's not the purpose of it. I like the weight belt because it provides feedback to me while I'm lifting. So. When you are doing a heavy compound lift like a squat and you're wearing a belt, the belt is helping to give you feedback so that you're pressing against it with your belly. You're supposed to belly breathe during lifts. And that way you're bringing all the air into your belly, you're bracing your core, this belt is helping you by providing that feedback. I really like it. It's taught me how to engage my core and I just feel a lot better when I wear this during my heavy lifts. This belt in particular is, it says Gold's Gym on the back. I have absolutely no idea where it's from. Some guy in my hometown gym one day saw me trying to use this belt that was like 10 sizes too big and the belt that I had before that was Velcro and the Velcro had worn off so it wasn't really working and he was like, yo, I got an extra small slash small belt at home, I'll give it to you and I'm like, okay. He brought it in the next day and I've used it ever since. I really like it because I have a very, very, very tiny torso. Um, my hips and my ribs like there's like that much room between them. So those thick belts go around They actually really hurt me. I like this one because it's thicker in the back But when it comes around your waist it thins out so it's a lot more comfortable for me I've had this one for years. I really want to know where I get this because once this one goes I don't know what I'm gonna do We'll see though it's love of my life next thing I have is our our lifting straps. I probably overuse these if we're being honest. I love them so much. A lot of the times the last thing I want to do when I'm lifting is focus on my grip. I want to be focusing on the muscles working, not if I can hold the weight and my forearms getting tired. So even if I'm doing like a dumbbell RDL and I want to focus on that time under tension, I'll put on the straps and I'll use them. So really any form of like deadlift. Sometimes when I'm doing lap pull downs, if the weight's pretty heavy and I don't want my hands to slip off, I'll use these too. But anytime I deadlift, 
I am using these just because personally like my body can go a lot heavier with my weight than what I'm actually able to like hold in my hands. So lifesavers, these are falling apart. The first pair of lifting straps I had were the same exact brand. They were in black and I'm pretty sure the brand like discontinued because I found like two pairs left on Amazon and I got one of them. So I really hope that <laughs> these are somewhere out there that I can get them. They are Pro Grip Fitness right here. Yeah. So let me know if you guys have these anywhere because I found this at like a local sporting goods store one time and I just picked them up and I've never been able to find them since. My favorites. Moving on, next thing that I have are resistance bands. I do have a couple types of resistance bands. I do have these normal um, like rubbery looped ones and I really like these for around my ankles. I just feel like I can do like lateral walks with these a little better. These ones, these cloth ones, I just find that they're so much more durable. I love using them on hip thrusts and I have all kinds of, all kinds. Right now I use the purple band the most. This is a little bit lighter. I pretty much use this to warm up. I will use it on hip thrusts. I'll use it for lateral walks if I have the band around like my knees. These are good, but they come in handy for a lot of things. These are also from the same place that my hip thrust pad is from. So these are from Pro Fitness, which you just get on Amazon. It's where I ordered mine. Next thing, very important to have in your gym bag, pre-workout. I have two. This one is Bomer Nutrition's old pre-workout. This one is the one that has beta alanine in it. It's their old formula. It gives you like tingles. This was the sour gummy and I still do have this one that I carry around just because sometimes I'll be feeling it a little more but other times Dakota really likes the tingles so he'll take this and I just carry it around because I know, you know, I just, I just know. But my favorite and I actually just ordered the new OJ pre-workout flavor, but it's another story. This is Bomer Nutrition's new formula of a pre-workout and I got the non-stim because personally at the time when this came out, I was drinking a lot of caffeine. I was having 3D energy drinks like all day, all the time because they're so freaking good. And I just felt like I didn't need to add any more caffeine, especially with everything that was going on. I, I didn't want to be anxious. I didn't want to feel anxious. So I got the non-stim. This lemonade flavor, guys, this is the best tasting pre-workout that I have ever had. The best. And I'm not exaggerating that. Like, don't get me wrong. Your girl loves her sour gummy, but this, oh my God. Oh my God. I really wanted to try the green apple, but when they released the orange juice the other day, I was like, I'm a big OJ gal, you know? So I ordered the OJ. So I'm gonna actually mix those two when it comes. It should be here in a couple days and I will post that review on my Instagram story. I love this stuff, I love this stuff. It's amazing, it doesn't make me feel anxious, no jitters, it's like clean energy, and I just, I feel ready to go. There's no like crash effects afterwards. I am absolutely in love with it. They did an amazing job. So I'm one of those like weird people, and please don't judge me for this, please. I'm one of those weird people that can get away her entire workout without listening to music. I very rarely will use headphones. A lot of times I'll use headphones if it's like dead quiet in the gym or they're playing like some radio station and the guy's talking too much and I just need something. But a lot of the times the gym music is fine for me. These are really, really great. They're the Beats. I guess they're wireless even though they have this thing on them. They're Bluetooth, so I really like them. It cancels everything out. Dakota actually got me these for my college graduation and I'm pretty sure they're dead right now. but. I haven't really needed to utilize them because with home workouts, like I just put my speaker downstairs and I'm good. Come in handy though. Of course, of course I have to have headphones. Why wouldn't I have headphones? Last thing. So, um, I don't really do this as much anymore. Most of my workouts are on my phone. However, I like this method a lot better. I keep a little notebook in and it has all of, like, I'm pretty sure you can see that. Yeah has all of my workouts. I can change it as I go. I can write weights down and it's very easy for me to like flip back and like look at it rather than scroll through my notes and try to find everything. The dates are on there, the days are on there, the split is on there. It's really, really nice for 
me to be able to just put a program in and follow it. If you're one of those people that likes it better on your phone, that's a-okay. I'm just one of those people that likes to write things down and have them like in this. So, and not overload my phone with a bunch of random notes because I already have enough random stuff on there. Besides that, I when I work out at the rec center at school, I keep my ID just front and center in this little thing. And then that is all. And that's really not that much stuff, but in a little backpack, it seems like a lot. That's all I take. That's all I really need to carry around. Um, sometimes, very rarely, but if I am going somewhere like further away and I don't know if I'm gonna have a meal, I'll bring like a protein shake with me and stick that in there or a protein bar. Those are really easy to stick in there. So I really hope that that was helpful and I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and while you're at it, follow me on Instagram. I will leave the ads right here. Don't forget to leave a comment below on what you guys thought of the video, what you wanna see next. I love reading your comments, so please continue to leave them. I hope you guys are having an awesome week and I will see you next time.